Welcome back, folks. Are you ready? For some Witcher? I hope so. I hope so. It'd be scandalous if you weren't, folks. Scandalous. You just be like, I've tuned into his video, but I'm not all that excited. And I'd be like, <gasps> gasp! And both parties would just walk away with like a sense of... Wants to be confused. I know I don't. Hate being confused. Hate it. I know what to do now, though. I was like, what to do, what to do? But then I was like, did I ask this chick? And I don't think I did. I don't think I did. So that's why I'm gonna ask her. Vaska! The Water Lords and I! Cool. Kogstein, an alchemist, claims you know about the tower's mage and its sentry. A powerful sorcerer once lived in the swamp. An apprentice, his only companion. All changed when a woman entered his life. A fairy tale beginning. But the end differs. For a wicked woman she was. He fulfilled all her wishes and she took advantage of his might. Who was the woman? Unimportant. I'm oh, listening. Okay. Blind love spelled the mage's demise. He called upon forces he could not control and died. What about the guard? The mage's lover could tell fortunes, and the mage created a deck of extraordinary tarot cards. He illustrated a future event on each card. And? Golems guarded the mage's dwelling. Those spared the ravages of time survive at the cemetery, where they remain motionless. One of them is the guard? Yes, the most powerful golem acted as sentry. The tower card depicts how the golem can be revived. In turn, this will open the tower anew. Take this card. I no longer need it. Oh, cool. How can we get I know what to do, though. I know what to do. And you're like, <gasps> What? What, Titan? What is this? What must you do? And I'm... Yeah, it's a secret. It's a secret secret. Unless you've paid attention. If you have paid attention, then you're gonna be like, ah, yes. You must do that. And I'm gonna nod my head solemnly and say, yes, I must do this. <laughs> Holy crap, I'm, <laughs> I'm confused myself. <laughs> uh, 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 Steam. Hmm. Sorry. Yeah. About the tower. Yes? Vasca helped me locate the tower tarot card. It describes how to wake the sentry. Let's see this card. Interesting. Much depends on interpretation, but I think I understand. Alchemists find it easier to understand other alchemists. Enlighten me. The sentry can only be woken if it's near the tower, which it is. And by using a lightning rod. A lightning rod? The drawing depicts a man in a crown. A reference to King Herman the Mad? Who's Herman the Mad? Oh. Herman used to ascend a tower during storms and insult the guards. A hostile faction carried out a coup by removing the lightning rod from the tower. An interesting story. You'll need a device that attracts and conducts lightning. Put plainly, a solid metal rod. A good smith should be able to forge one for a decent price. What next? Yes, we'll need a thunderstorm, but I have no idea how to make Mother Nature cooperate. I'll think of something. When you have everything, attach the lightning rod to the sentry. Energy from the lightning bolt will revive the golem. What next? No idea. But you'll manage. 
If you kill the golem, you'll be able to make a rare potion requiring his heart. Here's the formula. We'll see. Hmm. Sorry, I got lost in thought. See ya. Okay, that was quick. <laughs> Alright, since the armors from the Order never helped me, I guess I just have to go this way. Dwarf, I chase. Yeah. it. The neighbor's laundry is getting wet. Oh no! Ah, wrong way. I'm dumb. I'm a dumb little type. Need something? Will you sell me your wares? Zoltan praised you. Would you make me a lightning rod? A long metal? I know what one is. We used them in Mahakam, when humans still prayed to storms. You haven't learnt much about lightning rods since. Can you make a lightning rod? Are you trying to offend me, or can't you control what you say? I can, for 50 orins. Deal. Come back later. Okay. That just means go in and out of building. Oh, I'm so excited for The Witcher 2. No loading times, except when you move, like, you know, from a different area. Like a swamp to a city. Need something? Like quick travel. The lightning rod? It's ready. 50 orans. 50 orans, like we agreed. He's honest. He's honest. Now, I'm gonna try something. I'm not sure if it's gonna work. I'm not sure if it's gonna work, but it will save me a lot of orange. What a downpour! Oh, shush. I need to water my garden. No, you don't. Ha! The neighbor's laundry is getting wet. Ha! The neighbor's laundry is getting wet. So much hate. Look at that water. Doesn't that water look good? Excellent, I thought so too. <laughs> Grr. The roads will be wet. Well, definitely in the next episode or two, we're gonna be done with Act 2. Oh, it'll rain a while. And you guys are like, yeah, it's about time. It's about time. Transport services at the best prices. Take me to the other side. Time's... Yeah, go. Ready to go. Uh-huh. How many times? I'm ready to go. <laughs> Alright. This is my plan. Fresh bite and how they know it. You're probably like, er, plan? Confusion. And I'm just gonna say, yes. The plan. World domination. And all that stuff. Well, that's about time I took these anyway. Um. Yeah. Plus two per character development. Dodge. I do like dodge. Oh, stamina. Pain resistance. Endurance regeneration. Uh. Bomb preparation. I think I'm gonna take dodge. Dodge is good. Dodge is good. And one and two and three and there we go. Now, uh, 
uh, my plan is I have to call forth a storm. The waters seem right? unsettled. I have to call forth a storm. We all know that. And the druids can do it for me. I know this. Because I remember. Who wishes to cross? But I'm cheap. And it's gonna cost me like 400 orants to, to buy a storm. And I don't want that. Nope. Stupid. Good, sir. Do you need a so, what you have to do is meditate a couple of times, and rain should come. The waters seem unsettled. Uh, you know. Technically. Rain should come. According to my plan of masterness. Rain should be here. If it doesn't come, I'm just gonna, you know, say screw it and move on with my life. But let's try a couple of times. <laughs> come on, Rain. Are you, do you really want me to pay 500 orange? Because I think that's unfair. I want to buy armor. I really do. Anyone seeking to cross? <laughs> Raymond Marlowe is still standing by the tower. He's like, yo. Oh, wait, it's, it's not even Raymond. It's. Asar Javid. Asar Javid. He's just standing there, just like. Uh, sigh. Fresh this guy. Where is he? Are you kidding me? Come on, game. You shouldn't screw around like this. You shouldn't. It's not nice. No one likes it when you screw around like that. <laughs> I don't like it. Alright, come on. Come on. Alright. Four more times. I swear. I swear to you. Four more. One. Two. Fresh spider now they know it. I should just do off camera, see if that works. <laughs> Cause I don't wanna play 500 points. The water <sighs> seem unsettled. That armor's like it's 7, not points, monsters. Right? Maybe I should just use the cheat code. What you got would you guys mind if I used the cheat code? Just to give me like 7,000 orns. Would that make it less of a walkthrough? <laughs> I condone to use the cheat codes when you want to make the game more fun. I do condone it. Come on, last time. I know this is the fifth time I'm doing it. But let's, let's do it. Come on. Come on. Nope. Game, you suck. You suck hardcore. Really, really hardcore. <laughs> really, really hardcore. Because you make me very sad faced right now. <laughs> but alright, folks. I'm gonna cut it off here so. Thanks for watching, leave a comment, and tune in to the next one.